Hey guys, it's Bub here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the iPhone 6s in 2020. The first thing you notice when you pick up the iPhone 6s is its design. From the all-aluminum housing to the glass display, this device is a classic iPhone. With a different type of aluminum than the iPhone 6, this device will not bend in your pocket. It has the same design as the iPhone 6, except it has a little S on the bottom under the iPhone logo. There is also a larger variant of this phone called the iPhone 6S Plus, however for this episode we're mainly focusing on the iPhone 6S as they are nearly identical. This device is the last iPhone in the iPhone lineup to feature a headphone jack, which is a feature that many people love and many people miss. The home button does have the second generation Touch ID built in, which is plenty fast enough for a normal user. The iPhone 6S's 4.7 inch display is big enough for most users and the device fits well in your pocket. This form factor is rumored to be the same form factor that the new iPhone 9 or iPhone SE 2 will use. Now let's take a look at the iPhone 6S's camera. We'll be comparing the iPhone 6S's 12 megapixel single camera with the iPhone 10's dual camera setup with 12 megapixels and the iPhone 11's dual camera setup again with 12 megapixels. All photos were taken on the regular photo mode and not on portrait mode. This is the image produced by the iPhone 6S. I will not say my opinion, you can create your own opinion on these images. Here is the image that the iPhone 10 took, and here is the image that the iPhone 11 took. Taking a look at some more photos I took, here is the image produced from the iPhone 6S. Here is the image taken on the iPhone 10. And here is the image taken on the iPhone 11. Looking at the final photo I took, here is the one produced from the iPhone 6S. Here is the photo taken on the iPhone 10. And here is the photo that was taken on the iPhone 11. The iPhone 6S was the first iPhone to support 4K video recording, so let's take a look at that. For this video, we are taking a look at 4K video on the iPhone 6S. Um, if you want to see this video in true 4K because the video is only in 1080p, you can take a look in the description or in the iCard for an unlisted video on that's actually in 4K. Inside filming. Let's talk about battery life. The battery life on the iPhone 6S is known to be very poor due to its batteries. Why this is, I have no clue. My iPhone 6S is at 74% maximum capacity. There isn't program for you to enter your serial number and see if you're eligible to get a free iPhone 6S battery replacement. However, my model was not available. If you have an iPhone 6S or 7, Apple will eventually pay you $25 because in a lawsuit, they got exposed for throttling iPhone speed. Let's talk about specs for the people who care. This phone comes with an Apple A9 64-bit chip, 2GB of RAM, and an option of 16, 32, 64, or 128 gigabytes of internal storage. Even though this phone is now 5 years old, I think it is still a very good option for people who don't need a lot of power out of their phone. As long as you get one with a good battery inside of it, you'll be set. However, if you need some more power out of your phone, I recommend getting an iPhone 7 or an iPhone 8 so you get software updates later down the road. Anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like it. If you like this channel content, make sure to subscribe. Follow my Twitter at BubHubYT for channel updates, and I will see you all in the next one.